My name is Lynette Woodard. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I attended the University of Kansas, and I am the first female Harlem Globetrotter. I personally am looking forward to playing with the young lady on the team this year. Uh, I think it's great in the sense that we uh, revolutionized basketball, for one, by being the first professional basketball team to get a young lady to play. And uh, secondary, you know, it gives, uh, it's like women's live. It gives women a chance to see that there are ladies that can compete with men on that level as far as um, the pro level, physically and mentally, and do the tricks and things like that with the ball. She's, uh, I didn't realize that we were going to get Lynette Woodard. I had seen her play years ago in college, and I uh, knew she was on the Olympic team and things like that. But I didn't uh, know that I was going to get a chance to, you know, be on the same team with her, so it's fantastic. Well, I think it's beautiful. It's, it's, um, it's history, and the Globetrotters is known for making history. And, um, and it's, 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 I have 13 brothers and sisters, so to me, it's just, it feel like a part is just part of family. You know, you know she, she wants to fit in, and you just got to give your best to help her fit in as, as best as you can. I just hope that uh, she can live up to what we expect of her, and uh, she will have to be treated like one of the guys. I just hope that she can take the constant traveling and, uh, and the punishment that your body go, go through by being a Harlem Globetrotter. I've been playing professional basketball now for six years, and I've been in a lot of camps, Atlanta Hawks camp, uh, in the CBA with the Wisconsin Flyers, and I've seen a lot of basketball players come and go. But uh, I met a lady this, this fall named Lynette Woodard, and I think she's an excellent basketball player. A lot of heart, a lot of talent, left hand, right hand. She's real fast, and she's not only that, she's a team player. She, she's getting a lot of notoriety right now, but she's an excellent person. I think she'll be a great asset to this team. Well, I tell my child about the Harlem Glow Trials and my experience, it was great, it was wonderful. And um, it was a girl, the door's still open because we have our first female player now, and to go for it. I was very nervous the day that uh, the selection was made. Uh, we went through a practice, and right after that, we were to uh, get lined up, uh, all the finalists, so that the you know, selection could be made. Uh, I was standing there, I was nervous. I just couldn't hold it inside, you know, I was jumping around. and. Um, I decided, okay, you know, I could really try to be cool about this and hide it, but I just wanted to let it flow. Uh, there was um, another rookie selected along with me, and um, his name was called, and he stepped out. And I looked down to clap for him and congratulate him, and the announcer kept right on, and he said, and now the first lady. And uh, he said, and from the University of Kansas, and he called my name out. And I couldn't hear my name, so I started to look around, you know, to find out who was from Kansas. <laughs> and uh, it hit me, you know, I'm the one. And I just stepped out, and, and the joy that I felt uh, was unbelievable. It was, how do you spell relief? <laughs> Making the Harlem Globetrotters. And uh, it was something that was a dream of mine, and, and it came true, and it was just hard for it to sink in, something that, you know, number one, wasn't even on the horizon, and, and just for me to think about it and then have it to come true, words can't express the feeling that I had.